Hello everybody and welcome to your 24th Visual Basic in Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to go into String Theory uh, <laughs> don't get too surprised there I'm going to go into the actual String Theory um, uh, I'm just going to go over a few more things you can do with strings so let's first of all declare a string so dim the string as string and let's give it a value so the string equals I am a string. Right, so the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, in a message box, it's using um, left. Now this takes the value of the string uh, and then you put in a number, so let's put in uh, 4 and press that and it's expecting something else so yeah, and it's because I put a speech mark in like this so let's get rid of them uh, we need another little one like that so let's run this now so play and it takes the first four characters of the string from the left uh, and dis uh, displays them um, there's also right which does the same thing and you've guessed it it's taken the four things from the right. Um, so that's quite useful. You could say let's put uh, four um, x equals one to how many things are there? Four, five, six, seven, and then so thirteen. Let's put thirteen in there, and then next and then we'll use x instead of that and so that's going to come up with a few message boxes so let's play that and g ng ing ring string string a string m a string am a string and i am a string uh, so that's just showing you how it's all indexed across the whole thing um, so important note as well, it's not zero based indexing like some languages, uh, it is, uh, what starts at 1. Um, instead of using this 13, we could have used a little function called len, which is, stands for length, uh, and you just put in the string, um, and then that gives you the value of whatever that is. So if we play this again, and I'm sorry, it's going to get lots of binging. Um, and then that that goes through and that takes uh, counts how many characters there are in that string so what we could do instead of doing that is delete that let's put a message box and let's put length of the string and let's just get it to write that um, so 13 brilliant alright so that's left and right. The next thing I want to do, um, and it's been, I'm going to show you in a, an interesting new way. So let's go to view, go to the objects browser. Now this has a list of all the different objects you can use. So the one I want to look at, is, I've already selected it, it's strings. But if you can't think how to do something and you go into here and you go around and you have a look around then you can click on that and then you can click on here and then you can click on help and it shows you how to use it and then you can click on that and it tells you how to use it and it tells you what arguments it takes and it tells you what they do with them. So the Visual Basic Help and the Object Browser are absolutely fantastic. So these are all the different things you can do. So um, I haven't shown you how to use arrays yet in string. This is the next one I want to show you. So uh, in string, let's go to it, question mark. Right. So what does in string do? So it returns a variant long, specifying the position of the first occurrence of a string within another. So this is where we want to start looking in the string. So that's what the first argument is. String one uh, required. So uh, the string expression being searched, that's the string you want to find things in. And then the string two is the string that you're looking for within that string. So let's go 
back into our code. Let's close that down and get rid of that. Right, so we want to find the position of a string within the string. So let's put in str in string. And I just want to start at the beginning, so we're going to skip that one by pressing a comma. Let's put the string in here and another comma and let's look for am. Let's see what this comes up with. Um, an error if you forget to put a thing on the end. Um, oh, and it doesn't like that, so let's just put one. Uh, so let's have that starting as one. And let's play this. Say so three. So that's value one, that's value two, and uh, that's value three, which is where it's found am. If we change it to a, it does the same thing. Um, but if we start it at four, it comes up with six because four is here. So it's it's already passed that one, so it doesn't check that one. It goes on to the next one. Um, there's also, uh, and I believe I have to find it in string B, which uh, or no, in string reverse, which does the same thing but does it from the right. Um, so it starts looking from the right first, and apparently closes down all your things. Doesn't help you to actually write the code. So if we change it to in string reverse. I'm change that back to one again, um, and then we play this. And it doesn't like that. So let's go back to here. So object browser in string reverse. So string check. Ah, okay. So this is my bad because I put the things in the wrong way. So um, a bit annoying that they have such similar ones but with different arguments. So let's take this out. Um, I clicked in there, so I've got to come back out again. So let's put that there, and then let's play this now, and then that comes up with six. So even though it's searching from the start because it's reverse, it goes from the end of the string, so it's going backwards. Um, and we can put in an optional start in again here. Let's try out six. I'm not sure what this is going to do. Whether it's going to come out with six or whether it's going to come out with a uh, uh, three. So it's going to come out with six. So let's put in five. Three. And you notice that even though you're going from the right, the index still starts from the left. So that's an important thing to remember. So what we can do is um, we can use this to cut bits off of a string. So let's say we're trying to find am. Um, we don't need to specify where we're searching from because there's only one bit of am in. So we want to display wherever am is. So it's going to be free. So we want to go. Um, let's get rid of the message box for now. Right. We want the string to equal left. And then we've got our string here uh, that's uh, giving us the nut. Well, we've got the string, which is our string. And then the length as long we're going to have as the index of wherever our am is. I'm going to do it as in string for now. So I want to start searching from the front uh, and then I want to close that off. So the string equals left. So that's going to be everything here. And then we want to do pretty much the same thing, but we want to do right. And let's see what this comes out of. Um, nothing, because we haven't told it to. So message box the string. And let's see how much time we've got. We've got plenty of time, so play. And that's going to come out with nothing. The reason it's come out with nothing is because it's gone for uh, everything to the left and everything to the right and it's got rid of everything so um, we're going to want to do 
everything to the right, everything to the left, uh, plus two. All right, let's play this. Am um, brilliant. So what it's doing is it's taking the string. It's finding where in the string am is, uh, and then it's taking left of the string plus two. So it's taking that position one, two, so five. So it's taking those ones, then it's going finding am again, finding the position, and then taking right from that position. Um, and that's exactly what we wanted really. Let's try changing it from am because I've got a feeling that if I change it to string it's not going to work. I'm going to show you why in a minute. So if we play this, str. Right, and this is because, uh, I've probably because I've put the wrong thing in there. So play, and then it's come up with nothing. So why has it done this? And the reason it's done this is because I've used the wrong thing for right. Um, because when you use right, uh, it's not giving you the same index uh, of this. We need to be taking however many we want, that many from right. So let's take, we want the position in string, but we want to take it away from the length of the string. So length bracket the string. minus the value of that. So let's play this now. And I am str, which is weird. And the reason I've done it is because I've made that value uh, wrong. So let's put that to five. So tring, and apparently I can't count either. <laughs> so let's put six. And then it's still got tring which is interesting. Let's play. Okay. Let's try getting rid of this that I added in. Play that. A string. Okay. So that's obviously not working either. So we want to keep that in. Um, And because the minus thing does uh, miss out a thing, you have to put plus one, um, and then that will come out with the str with string then. So these are quite useful, and I'm going to go into a few more things with strings in the next tutorial. Uh, and sorry that one was a bit um, blurry. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in my next tutorial. And if you'd like to, to subscribe to future tutorials, please jump onto my channel.